The UN Security Council has unanimously backed a resolution requiring Syria to eliminate its chemical weapons. The document, put together by Russia and the U.S., imposes binding obligations on all parties of the Syrian conflict, but does not authorize immediate use of force for non-compliance. RT's Marina Portnaya reports on a landmark vote and a rare diplomatic breakthrough. This breakthrough marks the first time the United Nations Security Council has agreed on a binding document concerning Syria. The resolution unanimously adopted by the Council requires the verification and destruction of Syria's chemical weapons stockpile. However, while it does mention Chapter 7 towards the end of the document, it does not uh, indicate that immediate use of force would be allowed. This is something that Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov explained in detail while addressing the Security Council. The resolution does not fall under Chapter 7 of the UN Charter and does not allow for the automatic use of force. It reaffirms the agreement reached at the Russian-American meeting in Geneva regarding violations, as well as the use of chemical weapons by anyone, will have to be carefully investigated by the Security Council of the United Nations. The Council will stand ready to take action under Chapter 7 of the UN Charter. Any incident which is considered a violation of the resolution will have to be proved 100% before any action is taken. The resolution also calls for the convening of the Geneva Two Peace Talks, which UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says could happen as soon as November. The Geneva Two is where the Syrian government and opposition are supposed to come to the table together to negotiate a peaceful path uh, towards their future and an ultimate end to the two and a half year civil war taking place in that country. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says that uh, the Syrian opposition, as as well as the government is obliged to comply with all measures in the Security Council resolution. The responsibility for implementing this resolution lies not only with the government of Syria. According to the demands of the UN Security Council, the Syrian opposition will also have to cooperate with the UN experts. The Council adopted the resolution after the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons approved the Russia-U.S. brokered agreement on Syria's chemical weapons. The organization, uh, known as the OPCW, said it would begin inspecting Syrian sites by Tuesday, uh, part of an expedited schedule for eliminating all of Syria's chemical arsenal by mid-2014. Now, until then, the Security Council will receive monthly reports on the implementation of the, Syria, the Syrian chemical weapons resolution. In the meantime, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said the precedent-setting resolution shows that powerful diplomacy can peacefully disarm the worst weapons. However, during his address to the Security Council, Secretary Kerry rem reminded members that the use of force against Syria is an option that U.S. President Barack Obama continues to keep on the table. Reporting from New York, Marina Portnaya, RT.